Hello people, Jenny and Police Mother here. Today I'm going to show you how to use NASA to install legit 3D, uh, 3DS games, uh, CIA files, legit CIA files to your Nintendo 3DS, 2DS, or whatever it is. As long as it is um, on firmware 10.3 or lower, 10.4 actually patched it. So, yeah. So first of all, load your entry point. I recommend you use menu hacks. I've gotten errors trying with browser hacks and uh, with the with iron hacks, but the menu hacks seems to work. So I'd recommend that. So you install NASA 1.1 just as you would with any other application. And then out of focus, please do your magic. No, please. Seriously, how hard is it to actually focus? Please. It doesn't want to. Okay, this is better. Kind of. Okay, that's good. So I don't actually have a NAS on this card, so I'm going to install it. Blah 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 Let me install it out of focus please Out of focus do your magic you're the only thing Okay Once that's just install it Okay It should be this one no that's grid launcher This is a uh, start the starter kit. This is NASA. Okay, this is NASA. I'm just going to open my 3DS folder, and I'm going to get NASA here. Okay, now I just disconnect the SD card. I have the CIA file on here. I was going to show you the network uh, installation feature with this two gigabyte card. I was going to install a Fire Emblem. But uh, although it act it reported success, it didn't actually install. So uh, yeah, I ended up not doing it. So focus, God. Um, okay, open this up, and this should be prompted with the screen. If it doesn't work, just restart. Restart. It usually does work. Well, it has worked for me the last, I don't know, lots of times. I'm going to show you. It's going to boot here, most likely. In the meantime, I'm going to boot it on the 3DS. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. And this one is using grid launcher, so it'll take a bit longer. Okay, it loaded. So yeah, you can see it's grid launcher. It's the one I use because I installed a, an out of region game. I'm using an European console, and yeah, Mario and Luigi Dream Team. It's a, is a legit CIA for you, the USA. So you can see two point something gigabytes free. You can see the IP that's used for um, for this program here. You can barely see. It. Yeah, you can't actually see it. But it's used to install uh, games through the network. But that feature was recent, just recently added, and I haven't gotten it to work. As you see, it says file successfully sent, and it doesn't actually work. Hello, Kaneki. No, I'm not up for CS. Wait, mate. Okay. So, just go over to the place where you have your CIA files. This version of, uh, of um, NASA boots into the file selection mode instead of, the, uh, instead of this menu that it used to. It used to boot to this menu, now it doesn't anymore. So yeah, go over Fire Emblem Awakening. Install to SDMC. And it will say Importing. One difference from the the other version is that um, the sp it will display the installation speed, which actually seems to be lower than on my 
2DS. My 2DS is using a completely different card, that's also true. I believe this is a class 4 or something. This is a UHS-1 or something along those lines. I have no idea. So it's going to take a little while. So just stay there, relax, and I'll be back when this is done. So I'm back, and well, it's successfully downloaded, uh, successfully installed. So let's power it, power it off because exiting the program is completely broken at the moment, just like with FBI. In the meantime, I was recording a video on my Nexus 4, not a 3DS video. You guys seem to like it, so well. I did with I what I could do. If it doesn't successfully install, like the last time I tried, it might be that the file is corrupt or something along those lines. Or it simply fa failed, it sometimes likes to fail. But it worked. New application, new software added. Fire Emblem Awakening. As you see, it should boot if it doesn't. You can use the eShop, uh, you can go to the eShop and re-download it. It did work though. Uh, how do you get to how do you get to the eShop on 10.3, you ask? Well check the video I just recorded with my Nexus 4. If you don't know if you don't know how to do it. So there we go. Successfully launched. Thank you for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more. Goodbye.